Hello there, welcome to AWS Tech Guide session. Today we will be talking about how to write a playbook and execute it with Ansible. Now as you see in my left hand side, it is an Ansible server I have already set up and if you want to know how did I set up my Ansible server and I connected to my remote host which is at the right side of me, then check the previous video tutorial or if you are following from the previous video tutorial you know that how did I set up now in this video tutorial we will be primarily focusing on how to write a playbook in Ansible and install Java as well as Tomcat in the remote host and as you see I pinged from my Ansible controller and my host are reachable and it is showing success. I'm just clearing this portal and listing up and as you see we have the host role and when I'm creating one my playbook.yml it is the yml file for your playbook and we will be writing this playbook first starting with three hyphens so once you start writing playbook in yml file hyphen 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 that three times hyphen give a tab one more hyphen space then first thing is your name colon give a name that we are giving the name it is install suppose java install java so in this playbook we will be writing the script for installing Java. Now the next is in which hosts we will be installing Java. So we are writing the group name of the host. As you know that we define this host group name which is web server in host files which is called our inventory file. Now writing gather underscore facts and I am making it false as of now. Now it is defining the tasks. What are the tasks we will be executing by this playbook? Now our first task will be the name of the task will be updating the repositories in the remote host. So as a remote host we have created one AWS EC2 instance we will be updating the repos first. So as we know we used to do yum update so here we just have written yum colon and we are giving a name as star means it will do your yum update of all the repository now write the state latest means it will fetch all the latest repositories and update with it our next task is installing jdk which is basically open JDK we will be installing and again it is yum colon provide name of the Java version that we are going to install since we are going to install open JDK 1.8.0 version so that's why we are defining this with name colon Java dash 1.8.0 dash open JDK and now we are trying to run it before that just doing a cat so we can see that how we have written this yml file which is our playbook so i just cleared the console and now checking that where we are that is pwd we are under etc underscore uh, sorry etc slash admin location and this is our playbook in front of us and it is under the ansible installation now we are giving a try to run this uh, playbook which is ansible dash playbook is the module and then give your playbook name click on enter now see it failed and the reason of failing is missing sudo password because once we are updating the repository it is expecting the sudo user for it so we didn't provide the sudo password let me show you how we can add the sudo password in us I opened the inventory 
file that is our host file and adding the sudo password for the remote host here which is ansible sudo pass equal to the password i had aws tg remote web as the password just saved it closed it and giving a new try now it failed for one different reason it is saying that aws tg remote host web it not in the sudo or files because it has got the sudo password now but this user is not in the sudo or file of the remote host so let's open the sudo or file of the remote host i have logged in into the remote host to its root user inside etc folder there is a file that is sudo or s u d o e o r is open that file just in vi editor open that file sudo vi sudoers and then scroll down and you will find that how the root user is configured means how, what are the permissions for the root user and you will find this root all equal to all uh, permission so you will just copy that and paste it in a different row and we'll add the our uh, user which is our aws tg remote host web which we are trying to connect from our ansible controller now just saving this file yes now you have saved now let's give a try perfect now it's installing and it's showing that it has installed the java now let's go to our remote host and check here we are checking the java version because it's saying that it has installed java version in remote host but see the java version is still 1.7.0 but we installed j uh, open jdk 1.8.0 then why it is showing like that now there is something called sudo alternatives if you run the command you will see that what are the java installed in your remote host so as you see that sudo alternative dash dash config java it has your java 7 installed already and 8 also installed by this ansible playbook but 7 is set as default java so we have to change the java setting which will point to open jdk newly installed 1.8 so we will do that configuration from our playbook so i opened the playbook here and writing a new task to set the java version so hyphen name set default java we are using this alternatives to set the default java as java 1.8.0 version so it is alternatives name colon java and linking with this location which is slash user slash bin slash java where our currently java is installed that seven version in our remote host and we are setting a path to point this link to the 1.8 java open jdk so we are just copying this path copy this path fully and paste it in your playbook now let's give it a try again so we are running the playbook once again that is ansible dash playbook space playbook name and now it is showing that setting default java changed so it means that it has set now let's go to our remote host and check the java version what it is and now you see that our java version is one dot 8 dot 0 so it means that we have installed java and have set the java version to 1.8.0 dot 0. 
now we are just copying our playbook content to a new yml file just to keep the backup in install underscore java dot yml just to keep the backup nothing else now we will open our playbook and we'll modify it little bit more now at this stage we want to install apache tomcat in our remote host so we will write the needful to install apache tomcat in remote host from ansible playbook so we are writing a new task that is name downloading tomcat because our first step is to download the tomcat package from internet the notation is get underscore url and we used to mention the url actual url where the downloadable where the tomcat is downloadable so i am just searching in google's download tomcat going to this apache tomcat download link going to tomcat 8 scroll down and you will find tar.zz just copy the link address go back to the ansible playbook and paste it here now after downloading this tomcat we have to mention the destination of it so we are defining the destination that it should be downloaded under usr local now our next task is once it is downloaded we have to extract it so extracting tomcat the command for extracting zz file is unarchive and source as we have downloaded this star.zz into usr slash local that directory so our source we have to define from where it should get that file so it will be same as usr slash local slash the name of the apache file which we have downloaded that is apache hyphen tomcat hyphen 8.5.55.tar.zz and the destination will be the same i am providing the same because i want to install the tomcat here only which is usr slash local and since we are the, doing it in a, our remote host so that's why remote source yes after extracting we will rename the directory name of tomcat to an easier name we will rename the tomcat directory name to an easier name that is tomcat simply so the command for renaming is as you know that is move so mv slash user slash local the apache tomcat 8.55.tar.zz and it should be renamed to usr slash local slash tomcat so till now we will be able to download the tomcat from internet extract the tomcat package and then rename the directory name to tomcat now our next task is starting tomcat so we have downloaded tomcat extracted tomcat renamed the directory file now we are starting the tomcat and to start the tomcat we know that we have to just call the startup.sh that file but that is a sales script so we are starting with no hook means it will not open the portal but start running on background it is very important that you have to mention no hoop so it should start on background and our startup.sh file is always under user slash local slash tomcat slash bin and setup startup.sh now we are saving this playbook file let's run this playbook which is ansible playbook and before running this playbook let's see if there is any process running or not in the name of 
your Java. No, there is no process in Java. So we are just running it by Ansible dash playbook. This is the module to run any playbook and playbook name. So it has started running again. Installed JDK, set JDK, extracted Tomcat and renaming Tomcat home and it is giving some error. And let's see. Well, we did one typo. It is not U S E R. It is U S R. So we did one typo. Just saved and give a new try. Okay, downloading Tomcat, extracting Tomcat, renaming Tomcat, and it changed and it worked. Okay, let's see that whether the Tomcat is running or not. So PS minus EF grave Java, it is not Java, sorry. So let's try with uh, Tomcat process. Let's check Tomcat process. So, well, Tomcat process is also not running. So something must be wrong. So just checking the list under USR. Yes, we have USR under USR. Well, we did one typo once more that is USER at the shell script command, but it is actually USR, not USER. So let's update this playbook once again and run this playbook. Starting from cat rename and now Let's see in our remote host whether the Tomcat process is running or not. PS minus EF graph Tomcat. Yes, now our Tomcat is running. So in our console, it is showing that the Tomcat process is running. And as you see, it is it was our playbook that it installed Java, uh, updated repository, installed Java and no hope. And only because of no, no hope, it didn't open the portal, separate portal, but it started the Tomcat in background. So it is the whole playbook script to install Tomcat. Now, let me show you that we have this Tom Ansible config Tomcat the whole YML here in my Git repository, which is AWS Tech Guide Git repository. And you will get the whole playbook configuration. Well, so this is the way we very quickly installed Java updated repositories and installed Tomcat in a remote host just by writing few scripts in an YML file and we call it playbook. In our next session, I will show you how to configure Tomcat by Ansible playbook. Means this time you have just installed Tomcat in the remote host, but how you can change the port, you can create the user and define the roles as well as you can update the restrictions so you will be able to open the tomcat portal url so you will be able to do the configuration of tomcat by running your playbook from ansible thank you for watching this video if you have any query please write in the comment box and check our next video on how to configure tomcat with Ansible Playbook. Thank you.